In a lot of ways, what once would have felt like a sanctuary started to feel like a battlefield. I had parked on a side street and I was ready to go in to meet my ex after we had broken up. This had been a really long breakup. It had been lasting from September all the way through what was about February or March was when I went to meet him for the first time in a long time. My ex hadn't been coming home for a couple of months. I was already devastated. I was feeling lost and I didn't know what to do with myself, but I had wanted to keep this relationship going together and I was desperate. You know, I had been going through this roller coaster of a relationship where I had wanted him back. I was angry at him. I was alone. I was desperate. I was like every emotion you could possibly think of. And by the time we got to about March, I think is when I went to meet him. Like I already knew he was dating somebody else. I knew that he didn't want to be with me. That was clear, but I just couldn't imagine letting go of six years of my life. By the time it came to meeting my ex, I knew. I wasn't naive. I knew that he probably wasn't the person that I thought he was while I was in the relationship with him. I realized that probably there were a lot of things that I couldn't see because I was trying to hold on to the relationship. So while part of me wanting to meet my ex was about me seeing if we could get back together, I was also just wanting answers. I had been doing no contact for a while and I wanted to know if what they say is true, that when you go back to an ex, you see things differently. I had also been doing a lot of work on myself and my own mental health and how I related to people. I learned about boundaries and I was kind of excited to see how this would play out. We had decided to go to somewhere that we had eaten before. It was a nice place for dinner, nice Indian restaurant, and I was excited just for the food, to be quite honest. If anything, at least they got the food. So I did what you do. I parked on the side of the restaurant and texted him, let him know that I was there, and he said he was there. and so. So I went in and met him for the first time. Now, as I said, I had been doing work on myself, so I was nervous, but I wasn't too nervous. I kind of went into it knowing what to expect, and I expected a battlefield. Honestly, I expected that he was going to try to charm me, that he was going to tell me about his wonderful new life with his boyfriend. Pretty much that's what happened. I knew better at this point than to expect him to try to get back together with me or to try to make me feel important or loved or acknowledged because that had been happening for the past six months or so. So why would it happen now? It was a bit surreal to be in this restaurant that I loved with somebody who I used to love in the dim, dark restaurant with these beautiful fragrances around me with not a lot of people, but the people who were there were cheery. I guess it felt weird because this time I was in control. This time I had coping skills and I was not gonna let him guide the way things went. I was on guard and I knew what I was looking for. I was looking for clues that were gonna help me decide what to do next, where to go from here after this dinner was over. I wanted to see if he had changed at all. Did he learn anything about boundaries? Did he learn anything about himself? Was he going to keep trying to be a better than me, be above me, put me down, frame things in a way that I was a weak person? Or what's he gonna see across the table and see me as a human being, as somebody that he spent six years with? I guess I felt like if I saw evidence that he had done that, then maybe there was a possibility of staying friends and just being hopeful that this relationship he was in was a rebound one and he'd realize it was a mistake and get back together with me. But I was also looking for all those behaviors that he did during the relationship that weren't good, putting me down, holding me down below him in ways that were very subtle basically boosting himself up and talking himself over me, not really listening to what I'm saying, not really hearing, echoing back what I'm saying. Those kinds of things were gonna be clues to me that he hasn't really changed, he hasn't introspected, he doesn't see his part in things, and maybe being around him isn't a great idea anymore. And so there we were, sitting at the table in a nice peaceful restaurant. Honestly, this felt like the best place to have an honest conversation. The food was amazing. I got dal, as I always do. I'm vegan. I don't think dal is always vegan when it's made traditionally, but when you go to an Indian restaurant here, you can usually get dal vegan. So that's what I went for, and I was so happy about that. Well, as we went through dinner, we went through the usual chit-chat, you know, catching up on mundane things like how is work going, what's going on with your pursuits, um, how was the vacation that you went on in his case with the new person he was with and you know I tried to do my best to just kind of like listen and I'm not really somebody who talks about myself that much. As much as it may seem here on YouTube, I generally like to listen, although I do get passionate and I do like to talk about things, but in this case I was listening, in this case I was wanting to hear information, so I mostly kept quiet to see what he would do. 
And truthfully, pretty much as predicted, what he did was talk up everything going on in his life. His job was going the best it ever has, and his vacation was amazing, and things were going really well with the new boyfriend, and like there was no admission that anything was going poorly, there was no discussion of missing me or feeling bad about what happened or any of that. It was just up talking himself, um, and the message behind everything was that I needed to look up to him and I needed to try to put myself up on that same level as him if I was going to earn any kind of respect or anything. You know, we can speculate all day about why that is and why he behaved that way, but frankly, that's the way he was behaving. That's how he was presenting himself to me, and that was the message I needed to hear to understand what to do from here. I left that dinner with him knowing that this was not a relationship that I wanted to continue pursuing. I had thought that I wanted to save this relationship. It had been months during the breakup that I was so desperate and wanted so badly to stay in a healthy and happy relationship with him. But I realized after this dinner, that was never going to be possible. Not for a long time anyway, and certainly by the time of making this video now, not something I'm interested in anymore. Meeting with an ex after a breakup can be intimidating, it can be scary. I'm not gonna lie, when I pulled up to that restaurant, I was nervous, and even after I left I was nervous, and I need to kind of like calm myself down after that and analyze what happened with a clear head. And that's really what I would tell anybody who's going to go out and meet their ex after a breakup is make sure that you have the coping skills to be able to deal with that. Make sure that you can keep a level head. You know, I was somebody who dissociated a lot and I needed those skills to keep myself from dissociating so that I could even remember what we talked about and remember what happened and look at his body language and look at the way that we talked and see the interaction for what it was rather than being spaced out in my head not able to remember anything. I think it was also really important that I knew what I was getting into, that I knew where we were going, what we were doing, how long we were doing it, and what I wanted to see. What was I looking for? What was I doing it for? What was my purpose of meeting my ex? Are you thinking about meeting with your ex? Is there something that you're apprehensive about? Let me know down below in the comments.